Good morning, everybody. Okay, so today we are making a cheddar ranch meatloaf. Um, I actually found this recipe on the back of one of the Hidden Valley Ranch packets, and it was for cheddar ranch burgers. And I basically just took the recipe and some of the things that I like in meatloaf um, and just turned it into a cheddar ranch meatloaf. The kids love it. It's one of their favorites. It's one of Candy's favorites. Um, and so I figured I would jump on here and share it with you today. We have a baseball game today at about seven o'clock tonight. It is now 10 o'clock in the morning, kind of got a late start, um, but my goal is to get all of this mixed together, um, get it in the baking dish and just put it in the fridge until it's time to throw it in the oven. I'll probably put it in the oven about four o'clock um, and let it cook because it needs to cook at 375 for an hour. Um, sometimes it needs a little bit more. I am using four pounds of meatloaf or four pounds of ground beef. So it might take a little longer to cook, probably about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, but that way everything is done before we even leave. Um, and the teenagers can make sure that everybody gets fed and Tonight's one of those crazy nights where we're being pulled in 50 different directions. We have a base, the very first baseball game for our son. I have a mandatory cheer meeting that I have to be at. Um, all of the things, 50 different directions. <laughs> so um, I really don't have time to not know what's for dinner and I don't have time to sit here and, and cook it all at, you know, eight, nine o'clock tonight. We're not gonna eat that late, that's horrible. So I wouldn't do that to the kids. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and mix it all together. Let me bring you in here so you can see what all I'm putting in the bowl. All right, so right here we have our four pounds of ground round that I bought from the meat market. Couldn't give you percentages on it because I have no idea what it is. I'm guessing an 80-20 mix maybe, okay? We have about two cups of cheddar cheese, maybe a little bit more. I just saw what we had in the bottom of a bag. I'm using that. Um, I have one cup of breadcrumbs. I have a little over a cup of milk only because I had the baby under my legs while I was pouring milk and that's what came out and I'm not gonna waste it. <laughs> um, I have three quarters of a cup of ranch seasoning and I've got two eggs. Um, so all of this is just gonna go right into the bowl. Um, let's do the wet first. Sorry, doing all of this one-handed, so still waiting on my tripod. <laughs> all right, so we've got the milk in the bowl. We'll toss the eggs in there. Okay, and then we're going to come in with our breadcrumbs and pour the breadcrumbs in. And I will go ahead and put our ranch seasoning in here. And that is it. We're gonna mix it all together. See what it looks like. Let me put you back up here because I actually need two hands to mix. Okay. Um, I mix by hand when I'm making a meatloaf. That's just my preference. Okay. So I'm gonna mix all of this first before I put the cheese in. Um, pretty much I just wanna make sure it's the right consistency. If it's too dry, I can add a little bit more milk. If it's too wet, I can add a little bit more of the crumbs. Um, so basically it's just your preference by feel. I also have a 11 by 13 baking dish here, just a glass baking dish that I went ahead and sprayed with some Pam. Um, and that's what this is gonna go ahead and sit in. And I just do a nice fold. Um, I try not to do like a hard mix on this. I just fold it, fold it into each other because 
You don't want to overwork your hamburger meat. It makes for a tougher meal. Um, the more you mess around with hamburger meat, the tougher the meat will become when you cook it. So you really don't want to do too much to it. Just do a nice fold. All right. That actually looks pretty gosh darn good. All right, let me wash my hands. Okay, hands are all washed. Now we're going to add that cheese. So like I said, I just have whatever's left in. This was an eight cup bag. I'm going to guesstimate that that's about two cups in there. Um, I'm just going to add about two cups of cheese to this. Now I'm using a mild yellow cheddar cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. Sometimes I will make an Italian meatloaf, which is basically I use a bunch of Italian cheeses and then I spread um, a marinara or a spaghetti sauce on top of it, wh whichever we like. Um, maybe I could do another video on that one, but it really, the ingredients are really just what you like for your family. We're big ranch lovers, so you're going to see a lot of recipes of ranch in it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna incorporate all the cheese into that. Again, folding and trying not to completely disturb the meat. You just wanna fold it in. You don't wanna sit there and beat, beat this down. And once I have all of that incorporated really well, I'm gonna go ahead and get it right over into the baking dish so that I can start forming it. Now four pounds is a lot, so be careful because you may drop some. I've got this down to pretty much a science by now. And then you're just forming it. It's basically look like a loaf. And then I go ahead and I put a crease right down the middle and that basically just helps it cook even, evenly. You know, the last thing you want to do is sit there and cut into your meatloaf and have it be raw in the middle. All right. I always manage to get ingredients all over the place. I think I'm one of the messiest cookers in the world. <laughs> okay, so... I'm gonna bring you in here. I'm gonna show you what the product is looking like. So here's the meatloaf. All mixed together, it's got its crease down the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it in aluminum foil. Um, just cover it. And then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and I will come back. So it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I will come back later tonight, um, probably around four this afternoon and pop it in the oven for an hour, hour and 20, no, sorry, uh, hour and 20 minutes and get it cooked and ready to go. Um, we usually pair our meatloaf with mashed potatoes. We're trying really hard to stay away from all the starches for the adults. So I might just come in here with noodles or something for the kids. I don't know, we'll figure it out later, but I'll bring you back when I cook it so you can see the final product. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, so I did end up taking the meatloaf out and I put it in the oven, 375. I ended up having to cook it a little longer. This was a big meatloaf. This is four pounds of beef. So we ended up doing um, an hour and 40 minutes and it's perfect. Um, nice, cheesy, cooked all the way through. Um, I came in here and sliced it up for the kids because I'm in the process. I got to run out the door. It's one of those days. Um, I did pair it with some Nor pasta sides. This is the chitter, the chitter, uh, cheddar broccoli pasta sides. Um, 
and the kids can either add a can of green beans or they can add salad or whatnot to it. Um, but it smells amazing. Great dinner. Six o'clock and I've got to be out the door. So this all works out great. It is so important to really stay ahead of that dinner curve. It really is because then, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to worry when you have to be 50 other places and your kids need to eat. <laughs> So, all right, I will see you guys later. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe um, and share to your friends. All right, thanks so much. Bye.